On Monday, October 2, Indonesia unveiled Southeast Asia's inaugural high-speed railway. This train, boasting a capacity of 600 passengers and speeds of up to 350 km per hour, can bridge the distance between Jakarta and Bandung in a mere 45 minutes. But this brings us to the question, does Indonesia truly need a high-speed railway? The Ambition Indonesia, spanning a vast archipelago, has consistently felt the urgency for contemporary, efficient, and rapid transport solutions. The railway linking Jakarta and Bandung signifies the nation's first foray into advanced rail infrastructure and reflects this fervor. The Merits Infrastructure boost, this sophisticated railway not only modernizes transportation but also places Indonesia on par with nations sporting advanced transport infrastructures. Economic ripple effects, projects of this magnitude invariably fuel the local economy from job creation during the construction phase to luring investments and possibly amplifying tourism. Connectivity and time savings, considering Jakarta's notorious traffic congestion, the high-speed rail stands as a swift alternative, dramatically slashing travel durations. Technological transfer, beyond mere transportation, this venture facilitated Indonesia's immersion into cutting-edge technology, operational expertise, and superior skills. The partnership with Chinese firms aims to empower Indonesia to autonomously construct and oversee high-speed rail networks in the future. The Concerns High costs and delays, surpassing initial financial projections, the project's expenditure has swelled beyond $7 billion, inclusive of a $1.2 billion overrun. Construction challenges and the COVID-19 pandemic have further exacerbated delays. Commercial viability, with Jakarta and Bandung already connected through various transport channels, the commercial success of this railway remains a point of contention. Will it draw ample ridership to warrant its substantial investment? Planning choices, opting not to stretch the railway into the central zones of Jakarta and Bandung has sparked debates over its convenience and potential allure. Debt concerns, extensive loans from the China Development Bank underscore concerns about the project's financial longevity and its broader economic repercussions for Indonesia. The undeniable potential of the high-speed railway, particularly in technological acquisition and infrastructural progression, stands juxtaposed against apprehensions surrounding its financial feasibility and market viability. The true value of an endeavor isn't solely rooted in its immediate fiscal outcomes. Yet, the sheer scale of this financial undertaking introduces considerable risks. Looking ahead, two pivotal criteria will gauge the railway's enduring success. Will the railway sustain its operations without imposing undue financial burdens on Indonesia's economy? Can the exchange of technology and expertise elevate Indonesia's intrinsic infrastructure prowess and further its development agenda? The sands of time will crystallize the outcomes, but there's no contesting that the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway epitomizes one of Indonesia's boldest and most contested ventures in recent memory. What are your thoughts on the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway? Do you see it as progress or have concerns? Share your opinions below.